your brother even if he's not a from your father's fault There's some the wind and the water and the fire in my cell I just part of my soul Just part of my soul to me back door Riding in my boat now I can't even Go back to the world outside of this stuff Where I'm pie I mean nothing now I think the same fact Everywhere is crazy That's all that I'll be free Let's and go back to the world All the seven seas So here's what happened. For some reason I was thinking that I could hinge this part here and also have it hinged over at the back of the bike, but now that I see how it actually works, I can see that's definitely not workable. That's a really bad idea. And uh, so what I tried to do is put some screws in right here to kind of fix this, but it still didn't work real well and it's not that stiff, so I'm um, going to have to abandon this idea. So what I'm going to do is remove these this piece these two pieces here and replace them with taller ones and then probably keep this one and just have it horizontal
Wow, really lucky. I just happened to come across this house. It looks like they're emptying out. And it looks like it has some wood, which I can probably use uh, for my top. Wow, that's amazing, almost perfect. Here's a couple of things I learned. Um, the biggest thing I learned is that the, I believe the weight is too high. What's happening is sometimes I hit a curb or whatever and it starts bouncing left to right, left to right and eventually even if I slow down the thing tips over on its side. Luckily it seems to be pretty tough because it did that about three or four times and everything seems to be perfectly fine. Um, so that's a lesson learned. Um, it's too high. And I might be able to do something about that because I think I can lower this whole frame by, you know, two or three inches because that's pretty bad. Basically, with it as it is, I can't go over about 14, 15 kilometers an hour without being really worried that any little bump is going to cause it to tip. For that, the other thing I learned is actually my hinge system, which I thought was going to be a mess and not work very well actually worked perfectly fine like I had no problems when I was stopping or going nothing I mean there's nothing to say it just worked fine like you couldn't really hear anything or see anything going on so uh, I guess I'm done with that for now I'll leave it alone and this was my first first thing I've hauled with the uh, the trailer <laughs> and that's exactly what I want it for is if I see some wood somebody's throwing out like this or if I need to buy some wood at the store or whatever oh wow Here's where I scrubbed the road on one of the high speed wrecks. So that really dug into the to the wood. I'm going to have to avoid doing that in the future or put some kind of uh, protection on it because that's a pretty, pretty bad gash it took. Okay, so the idea here is really simple. I'm going to take these metal brackets off and probably cut them a little bit shorter and notch them out deeper so that the wheel will sit lower. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Bruce. So I'm finished with my trailer project as of just now I'm calling it finished and uh, as you can see I brought these uh, wheels and tires up into the body more. I'm hoping that'll provide better stability. Hopefully it won't tip over while I'm riding down the road. Of course you can still add a uh, top to this. I probably will but uh, it's not really necessary. You know a lot of things I'm carrying will just be wood so it'll just go on the top but uh, we'll see. If I can find some uh, piece of wood, I might put something on top. But I mean, basically the trailer's done. How you add on to it, you know, what kind of uh, hooks and tops and buckets that you add on is kind of up to each person depending on what they're doing with it. Probably as I use it, I'll make another update video in the next months just to let you know how it's going, what's uh, what I've been doing with it, if it's actually been working for me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.